Hi everyone and welcome to Miss B Maths Teacher channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the sine rule and how it can be used uh, to find unknown angles. So um, I have recorded one video about um, using the sine rule finding unknown um, length. So if you do want to watch that one, I'm gonna copy the link um, down in the description below. So um, if you do want to find a little bit more about sine rule, um, I would recommend to watch that one before this one. So, um, however, uh, when we use sine rule um, in order to find angles, um, we do have to be a little bit more careful because um, there are two possible um, answers. So, um, um, for example, if you do have uh, sine of 120 um, angle and sine of 60, uh, using calculator or unit circle, so uh, we can see that uh, we do have the same answer. So um, pretty much we may have two different triangles. So a triangle uh, where one of the angles is going to be um, less than 90 or obtuse one where it's going to be bigger than 90 or less than 180. So um, we're going to go with this example and um, see, you know, how we're going so and um, then we can talk a little bit more about um, you know those uh, two possible answers so here's the sine rule so um, and you can see is that you know um, ratio between um, corresponding uh, sides and um, sine of the angles so and um, now uh, only two of these formulae are used in any one time so there is no need to use all of them and sometimes we don't have all informations but there is no need to use more than two so um i'm just gonna look here what informations have been given so um we have um angle or what do we have here? angle b so at the corner b and opposite side so um we have this is given so and then um the other one that we have is 11 here um yes and uh, we need to find this um angle don't we so this is the angle yep so it's unknown so we don't know angle at c so that is what we would like to know but we can see the side opposite has been given so um so it's 11 centimeters now looking at this one so i'm gonna go with um uh, using the rule here, uh, change the color. So it is um, sine of C, that's the angle, um, over corresponding um, side, which is 11, and then is equal to um, sine of B over corresponding one is um, 7 centimeters. So I can change this actually uh, sine of B here, um, and just write 25, okay, 25, because that one is given anyway. So um, now this is the sine rule. The next step is uh, pretty much doing um, a cross multiplication. So cross multiplication, that's the one that I usually use. Um, and it's gonna give me uh, seven times, um, seven times sine of C, is equal to what's this one here 11 11 times um, sine of 25 now as we have done before with you know um canceling out and you know um um having unknown on one side so we are interested in this part here sine of c and we have seven getting in our way so um pretty much what we're gonna do next is um dividing both sides by um by seven because we want to get rid of seven the seven so it's seven seven is gone so it's one and um we are left now with um uh sine c which is that angle and then you know all of this so um 11 times sine of 25 not 27 we here 25 so 25 over seven um, in order to find the angle, so we have sine of that angle, but what we need, we need this angle here, okay? So we need this one there, okay? So we need this angle here. So to find the angle is pretty much this. So we go um, an angle, 
school. C is inverse of sine. So it's sine inverse. So, um, and I like to keep, you know, um, the fraction as it is. I don't calculate before and then use, you know, um, less decimal places and stuff like that because this is giving me exact value like this one here. So I haven't done rounding up or down before. So um, using calculator, so um, this is going to give us, you know, some sort of approximation and um, you may have one angle. Um, it's going to give you 41.6 approximately. So, um, but now... We do have to be careful, as we do know, um, that uh, it could be its supplement as well. So we have talked about this before, that um, may have two options, two different ways. So, and if this is 41, so we may check, you know, or calculate, I'm going to use red, or, or, so it could be this one here, or... It could be 180 take away um, this angle that we have calculated and it's approximately 138.4. Uh, now, this is the other option. So, um, if the question has asked you about having acute triangle or choose, so you would like to know which one to choose, but we don't have enough information here to determine the actual shape of this triangle so pretty much the option um, could be like this um, with that side there uh, 40 degrees or something like that and you know to have uh, another one like over there so two options not enough information so um, it could be either the other way of checking this is um, we already know that this one here is 25 so if this one is 41.6, so this, you know, whatever is left has to add up to 180. So, and that would be like, okay, beautiful, it's safe. So, and now again, if this one is 25, and we choose this one to be 138.4, so the rest here, you know, should add up to 180. And we are safe here as well as 130. 8.4 plus 25 it's sort of 163.4 something like that so uh, it's still less than 180 and why I'm mentioning 180 we do know that the sum of all angles I'm gonna put here sum of all angles in triangle needs to be has is, is equal to 180 degrees so um, in this case, um, we don't have, you know, information like which one we're going to choose and we are safe to use both because if we choose 41.6 or 138.4, um, it's still going to be okay because uh, the sum of all triangles, uh, angles in, you know, those triangles would be uh, 180 or less than 180. So let's have a look at another example. So um, and have a see what we have here. So now this one, we have to find angle at D. So um, this one here. So it's unknown, and um, pretty much it's you know the similar. So it's um, you know using uh, sine rule. So using um, sine of uh, um, D, sine of D over. Um, change the color okay okay opposite and then like that okay sine d um over okay 13.5 is equal to um sine of e which is um here 56 56 over what's the opposite uh 16.8 16.8 and again as before so um cross multiplication so cross multiplication just like that so and it's going to give us what 16.8 times sine of d is equal to 13.5 times sine of 56 um, now divide everything by 16.8 both sides so um, 
because you just want to have sign of D on one side by itself. So, and uh, please note, again, I'm not going to calculate this before. I like to keep it like, uh, you know, in this form because it does give me, you know, the best answer possible. So in order to find this angle D, so um, it's inverse, isn't it? So it's D equal to uh, sine inverse. Um, and then using um, your calculators, um, you're going to get something. Um, therefore, okay, the first one you're going to have is 41.8 approximately, approximately. Or, uh, now we're looking for its supplement, so 180 take away 41.8, um, approximately uh, the other one uh, would be 138.2. So now, we can see here that, you know, we have two options to choose from, okay, so um, acute and obtuse, and let's have a look, so I'm going to draw Okay, this one here, okay, okay, let's go back that one, um, if I go like this, yep, yeah. so this one here is 56 anyway, so it has been given, so if this one now, we choose 41.8, so adding those two together is something, um, 97 something, so we are pretty much safe here, so, um, you know, the sum of all these, um, it will definitely be um, um, 180. But now, if we choose um, 138, so it's um, some sort like this. So, 138. This one here is given, let's say it's 56. Uh, it's not to scale. 56. And if this one is 132, 138, 138.2, let's have a look what's going to happen here. So, 138.2 plus 56 um, is equal to, to um, for one that's nine one ninety four so those two angles so this one here I'm gonna use different color so this one here okay 138 and this one here that has been given when we put them together is gonna give us 194 which is more above uh, 180 so it's bigger than 180 and we do know that the sum of all angles in the triangles has to be equal to 180 so therefore so we do have to reject this one here so reject that one and the only possible solution in this case is that the angle um d is equal approximately to 41.8 so that would be all um for um, this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it and um, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!